Ladies and gentlemen, witness with your very own eyes and ears how much of Bill Gale's accomplishments I can squeeze into 80 seconds. Bill was born in Placentia, Newfoundland with a business diploma. Scratch that. Born in Placentia, Newfoundland, Bill graduates from St. Edward's High in 53 and in 54 receives a business diploma. At the same time, he delivers papers, herds sheep, and falls asleep in barber's chairs. He takes his diploma, his new haircuts, and gets a job at the Royal Bank. And in lightning time, becomes VP of New Brunswick Operations. Whilst keeping a revolver in the top drawer of his office as some kind of added symbol of respect. Guess they did things a bit different back in Bill's day. Anywho, Bill leads 30 branches, 600 staff, all the while cooking the best Newfoundland meals west of the Atlantic Ocean. Cod tongues, cheeks, and bread hard as rock see him for 39 years of stellar service with the Royal Bank. Only to say no to retirement and open a financial consultant consulting company called You Guessed It, The Gale Group, as well as working as a real estate consultant with Prudential Summit Real Estate in his spare time. After those epic pursuits, Bill yet again screams no to retirement and puts his energy into volunteerism and community leadership. He's a driving force behind credit counseling services, a not-for-profit organization assisting people struggling with debt. Bill calls on St. John business leaders to reach for a higher social and moral code, inspiring not only the business community, but the community at large to do more than alleviate the pain of poverty, but to help eradicate it, demonstrating that social improvements in our community can be accelerated with the involvement of an informed and organized business sector. Billy loves that sort of thing. He also loves Winston Churchill, who said we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. That in the shell of a nut sums up Bill Gale. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. Enjoy yourselves. Try the shrimp cocktail. It's to die for.